everyone, once again, it's Mark from the Rain City Gamers, also known as Seamount for Life. It is Tuesday night, which means only one thing, it's time for a little TGC Tours action with uh, TGC 2019 here. We're going to be playing the uh, Euro Tour, looks like we'll be at Shelter Island Club playing the uh, NBO Oman Golf Classic. As always, it's a requirement, bring your drinks, cheers to you, thanks for watching. If you're going to hang out in the channel, thanks for uh, keeping me company and chatting with me. And if you're stopping by on the video on demand or the YouTube channel, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting myself and the Rain City Gamers. All right, let's dive on in. Here we go. those keen-eyed folks i have uh updated my obs the obs actually had a, hey what's up mr vinegar obs had an update today where they updated some of the technical streaming options and settings thank you so much for the raid you guys great show i was able to catch the the back maybe 20 minutes of it pleasure as always to watch you guys and uh thanks for doing the raid really appreciate you cheers to everybody here But I was able to update some of my settings. So uh, NVIDIA had a new update today with OBS and uh, the hardware encoder that I use to stream got updated and they improved it. So I was able to go in and I updated a lot of my settings and hopefully made this a lot better experience. It should be a little crisper. Let me know if there's any chugging or any movements and stuff. I updated my bitrate and all that thing, or all those uh, settings. So just let me know how it goes. I did a quick test earlier and it looked like it was pretty good. So. Hopefully I'll be able to actually play some good golf to go along with the better visuals. And away we go. Hey, what's up, Matt? Good to see you. Bale in Aurora. I don't think I've ever seen you in my stream, so thank you for watching. Cheers to you. Thanks for hopping in. I'll be following while you design your new course. I like it. I'll be some, uh, some good background noise then. I'll do my best Bob Ross impression for you. All right, let's see here. I kind of like this. <laughs> One of those type of weeks, huh? Ooh, look at this. Stop right there. Everybody needs a friend. The little clouds go. <laughs> oh, and look at that. We already have a follow coming through. Thank you so much, Bale. Appreciate you. Cheers to you. What's up, Andre? Another shootout this week. 157 greens, man. God. Killing me. Let's take a look at this. Well, I better get birdies then, huh? If that's the case. I better get some birdies. Lots of pars in my game lately. It's uphill. Go right here. Nope. I pulled it. <laughs> that fill emote is pretty legit, I gotta be honest. I have to go through and I have to add a second uh, emote now. To get some more subs for you guys had a bad week down on ccg finished minus four so poor shots i hear you man hey what's up cappy good to see everybody tonight always love the tuesday night streams you guys are always good and always a good turnout a lot of regulars cats here like always here he is could even get through the first hole huh One of these days, Scarpacci is going to appear. Yeah, that's right. Nicely done, Andre. Nicely done. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I like this shot. I'm going to hit three wood. Boom. Nice and safe. There we go. Oh, you miss your cats while you're in, uh, at your university? Yeah, cats are pretty awesome. I have four of them, so. 
They keep me company. They run the house, basically. Pan and I just kind of live with them, basically, is how it works. One sixty six into the wind. I think the distance here should be pretty good. Nice. <laughs> That's probably a true story. And this is the second week of my new overlay, so I hope you guys like it. I actually made it, some slight adjustments to it from last week. So I don't know if you guys caught it, but right at the beginning of the stream, I actually, uh, NVIDIA and OBS updated their hardware encoder today on the software. And so I updated a lot of my settings to make it hopefully better visually. Uh, it shouldn't pixelate as much on the, when it's moving and should be a little bit crisper now. I've updated my bitrate and all that stuff, so let me know how it looks, if it's any sort of improvement on your guys' end. Still 720p, 60 frames. I don't know if I'm going to change that, but uh, it should look a lot better now. All right, let's get birdie. Get in. God damn it. <sighs> I got plagued with those last week, too. Too many pars already. Two holes in. Does look crisper. Good. Thank you. It's good to hear. Crisp 8K on your toaster. <laughs> What's up, Wooey TV? Good to see you, man. up that hill pin seeker which OBS settings did you change so I've always you when anytime I play on my computer I always use the uh, the NVENC it's an NVIDIA encoder the hardware encoder but I've, I've had it at uh, 2500 bits forever and so I upped that to 4500 bits and they updated their NVENC encoder to be more on par with the software encoder. So the 264X encoder, which is the software encoder, is just a crisper encoder. But the problem is it's very intense on your uh, on your CPU. So I use the hardware encoder because I'm playing on the computer that I'm streaming on. So I don't want to take up a bunch of bandwidth on my, on my CPU. So inevitably, you use the hardware encoder, but you have lower bit rates. So your screen is usually a little fuzzier. And it also is a little uh, more pixelated on the move. And so with their new update, they Im they improved the hardware encoder so that it's close to being on par with the 264X option. And so I, I changed to that newer version of that encoder, and then I also upped my bit rate. So I'm hoping that this will be a much better experience for you guys on the visual side, especially on the movement. Still pictures and all that should look good, um, but on the movement end, it shouldn't pixelate as much now. And I think a good barometer for that will be when I stream Apex next. But Yeah, I just watched the uh, NVIDIA had like a video on their Twitter today. And I just went through the settings with the guy and changed them all. He said to put it at 6,000 bit, uh, bit rate. That seems a bit much, even though I have 30 up. So I can handle 6,000. That just seemed like it was overkill. So I went from 2,500 to 4,500. So I just figured I'd 
see how that ran tonight and you know maybe i'll move it up again but we'll see how you guys feel get in there we go first birdie of the night cheers everybody gonna need a lot more of those hopefully i go through a few drinks tonight Yep, depends on what your upload speed. I, I agree with that. So I ran the test. I get I get 30 megabits upload speed. Uh, it's I pay for 300 down, 100 up, but it usually is at like 150 down, 200 down, somewhere in there, and then usually 30 to 60 up. So I could do 6,000 bit rate. I think I could, but I just I don't know. I mean, that could also cause issues on some days when maybe my bandwidth isn't as high. So, this hole has a lot of, or this course so far has a lot of like three woods off the tee. Ten up. Nice. Half your bottle of rum and Pepsi Max. I like it. 128 into the wind. I kind of like this shot right here. Should be a good shot. It should kick left and roll left too, right? Roll on down. I didn't get the kick left like I hoped. Hey, what's up, Dwayne? Good show tonight. Welcome. God damn. Under Reddit. I'll be in the fairway down there. Nice. Right, let's see what type of shot I have for the second. Ooh, I can make this. I like it. Why is that so far right? I'm just so confused by that. I mean, I aimed the left side of the fairway. Why is that so far right? What a dumb fucking game this is. I mean, I know the wind pushed it left to right, but that ball started right. The fast tempo made it go right? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's right. Fast back swings make the wind harder because that also makes sense. What a dumb fucking decision. Because magically, the harder I swing, the harder the wind affects my ball. Let's just sit in a meeting and let's talk about this, you guys. Hey, HB, let's have a meeting. Hey, you know what we should do? We should have it where the faster you swing, the more the ball gets affected by the wind. Right here, I really hate it. 
Get in there. Ooh. Cheers. That's a birdie, isn't it? Part five. Yeah. All right, so we're down here three, 165 into the wind. I'm gonna aim a little left because I don't want to hit that ridge. I like it. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Run up and mark it. Hey, what's up, Reg HC23? Normally you see calm, seem calm, but it seems this. <laughs> this game is making me mad today. <laughs> That's correct. <clears throat> All right, so this is going to go left to right off my club face. And it's going to kind of come back. Hmm. This is weird. Boom. There's another birdie. Cheers. <laughs> Mount Gay Jamaican. I'm not even sure what that means. Yeah, that's, I agree with that 100%, Mr. Vanger. Barbados. That's a good swing there. Get down, get down, get down. Don't run out of runway here. Yeah, it should be okay. A putting marker that has distance is just a reference thing, right? That's a negative. It also helps kind of uh, auto-correct your, your backswing a little bit. So if you put it at 20 and you swing back to 20, then obviously you're good to go. But if you go back to 21 or 22, it'll actually auto-correct it back to 20. But if you go to 25, then you're, you're screwed. So it gives you a little bit more a window, a little buffer of a window there to uh, be kind of around 20 or whatever you put it at. So that's where it helps other than just a visual thing. And this Seamount Educational Minute is brought to you by drinks. Cheers. Ah, Lord Borak, what's up, buddy? You're more drunk at the moment. 32 cans of beer? Wow. I'm an amateur when it comes to that. I'm not a big beer drinker. I like beer, don't get me wrong, but there's no way I could pack home that much beer. Not right now. No way. That'd be a bloated mess. Stop right there. Yeah, 32. Damn. All right, we're going to putt this. Let me slow down my drinking. Well, you know what, Lord Borak? You came to the right spot, man. You can keep on drinking. You can drink with me. You can drink with everybody in the chat. How about that? Okay, the key here is mm. that started way left. American beer is like fornicating in a canoe. I've never heard that before, but that is now amazing. I'll have to mix that into my uh, my vocabulary along with bamboozle. I've been trying to use the phrase bamboozled as much as possible because of Apex. I was
was going to say something to entice me to get something to, to talk to you, huh? Stay in the fairway for me. Yeah, settle right there. Settle, settle. Ah, oh, it's in the rough. <laughs> 150. Wind at my back. went a lot farther right than I expected it to. I am bamboozled when I play golf. I agree with you. This whole entire stream, I'm bamboozled. All right, we have another unofficial putt here. This one's going to break a lot. My buddy is in shotgun beer league. Every time you shotgun a beer on a hole, it counts as one. Oh my god, that is insane! I've never been good at shotgun and beers either. I'll drink it all, like I'll drink it in you know a couple seconds, but I can't do the shotgun thing. I can never do it. Even the beer bong stuff, I I just couldn't do it. That's a skill you're born with. <laughs> Keep doing the Dave Grohl. I'll try, my friend. I will try. All right, 183. Come on, be close here, guys. Look at this. Be close. Give me a good hop. Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping for that Tanaka love, that Tanaka hop right there for the ace. Cooked it, I guess. Do I have Discord? Yes. I need to try rugby club night out. I may not be the fastest to down a pint, but there, unfortunately, I was classed as a heavy drinker. Good news, a lot of free drinks. Bad news, you always make up. <laughs> wake up the next morning. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, I don't have Discord. Uh, set up for this channel. It's something I probably should have. I actually have a Rain City Gamers Discord channel, but I only have a few people in it. I should open that up to you guys. I'd be cool with that. I mean, would you guys even want to hang out in that channel and chat? I'd, I'd be alright with it. I just I never added it to the channel. That ball's ripped. If I had a Discord, would you guys want to be a part of it? The Rain City Gamers Discord. What do you guys think? Throw some info in the chat and we'll see what comes of it. My scores would plummet. Boom. Come on, get there. Get there, ball. Be enough. I don't think it's going to quite make it. Yeah, just short. Fat from Finland. <laughs> now we're going to chip this.
shoot. Okay, I need this putt. This is big. 9, 10, 11. 27. What's up, Spartan Knight? Good to see you. Short. Damn. That's a 150 putt. This just cost me there. My last round I played Augusta, so that probably wasn't ideal. Going from 187 to 150. favorite NHL team hasn't even played one game yet. That's a Seattle team that's coming in 2021. Damn it. I thought that might happen. Too many pars, you guys. This is what plagued me last week, too. Just too many pars. All right. Hey, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pars so far. And probably three of those probably should have been birdies if I, if I could putt. Right at it here. A little right of it. Every city I've ever lived in or close to. Oh, that's that's ideal. <laughs> cool. I guess you miss left there, huh? So you don't roll off the green when you're rolling right at the hole. Where do you live, Cappy? I <laughs> USA Professional Rugby League here. Seattle team, the Sea Wolves. You know what? I have heard of the Sea Wolves before. Albuquerque, that's right. Some of those Seattle jersey concepts by fans are amazing. Yeah, uh, ESPN had a, a jersey like article, I don't know, back in October, whenever they announced that the team was going to be a real thing. And there was a couple of really cool mock-ups from people that have been sending them in. it right kick left kick left nice there's a golf shot right there of course tough putt I always seem to find the worst spots on the green too that's another one of my hidden talents this is probably the worst place to be on this green Go in. Yes. 
Birdie time. Cheers. I do. That's 100% factual, Mr. Vinegar. Yeah, the sockeye looked really cool. That was probably my favorite. Steelhead, sockeye. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of one of the other ones. But yeah, I like the sockeye or the steel. The, the totems one looked kind of cool too, but I just don't know if I like the name totems. But we'll see what they do. I'm sure they'll pick a name I don't like. Tribal, yeah, I agree. It's just kind of a weird thing, like totem, the totems, just dumb. I think the Seattle Kraken is the one that won the vote. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. I don't hate that name, but that name seems very like novelty. You know what I mean? Like, they can name the XFL team the, the Kraken if they want to, but the Kraken just seems like the Raptors, you know? Like, 10 years from now, they're just going to be like, oh, God, we shouldn't have been the Kraken. was like we're just gonna bump it a little bit this way so it goes just around the hole there wasn't even that big of a break there did anybody see that break i didn't well, that's just me in this game like these greens are so weird to me I hope they don't do the Metropolitans. That's such a, I just, has, nobody will think of Seattle if that's their name. I hope they don't do it. I know that's what their original name was. And I know they won the first Stanley Cup by an American team. I know the history behind it, but like it's the New York is the Metropolitans, the Mets, right? Like, I hope they don't go that route either. I'd be, that's probably the one name I don't want is the Metropolitans. I'd be okay with Totem and Kraken and any other one. Steelheads is probably my number one. That one's really cool, and I think they could do some cool logos. But I hope they don't go Metropolitans or the Mets. Should be a good shot here. Oops, stop. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Why did that go so far right? Ah, oh, this game. This stupid game. I actually pulled that putt and it still went right. Frustrating. I really, I actually, the more I play this game, the more I hate the putting. Like they completely ruined the putting in, in October. Or December. Whenever they did the December, the December patch, completely ruined the putting in this game. Tried to go for it there. Maybe I'll get a kick. Nope. The 
should kick and roll down there. Nice. This will be a nice birdie putt that I miss. Twenty seven feet. Uh, the putter is more sensitive than your driver is. That's what's fucking stupid. One twenty. Uh... That was a purpose slow there. Let's see if it. Yeah, that should be okay. I mean, I like that you can push and pull putts. I just think it's way too penalizing. Way too penalizing. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. They overcorrected like they always do. Always, always overcorrect. And then they never fix it. There's a good swing. Come on, be close. It's right at it. Go in. Go in for me. Ah. Oh. Maybe roll back. Nice. There's a golf shot there. Get it. Nice. There we go. There's a bird to end it. Cheers. That definitely wasn't a bad putt. <laughs> that was one of the better ones. All right, guys. There we go. Round number one of the books. Five under. Not that bad of a round. Just, again, a lot of pars. Too many too many pars. I'm definitely back on the, on the cut line. I'm probably going to have to shoot ten under here to make the cut. We're going to move on to round number two thanks so much for you guys hanging out what do we got in the stream we got 15 people here watching thank you so much for hanging out with me on this fine tuesday i was letting the uh, wind reset there that should be good 
Am I on the Euro Tour? That is correct. Thank you, Luckbox. Good to see you. Tear this bitch up. All right, Ryan J. McConnell. Let's do this, man. Let's throw some darts. How about that? Let's throw some darts. Boom. Dart number one. Stop. Master Clubs. Alan G. Clemson. Good to see you again. Haven't seen you since Clemson won the national title. You've been, you've been partying since then? I mean, I would. If you dub won the national title, I'd be partying for an entire month and a half. Just because. God damn it. I had that same putt last time, and it didn't break at all, so that's my own fault. I just, I should have trusted my read instead of second-guessing what I was looking at. God damn it. I was like, you know what? This is barely breaking. It's uphill, so it's not going to break as much. Last time I had that putt, I hit it to the left side and missed it. And watch, I'll have that same putt later on, and I'll, I'll read it more to the left, and I'll miss it to the left. I can already tell you it's going to happen. There's a drive. Little wobbly dart out of the chute is right. Very fast. Uh, I don't think so. And then of course it goes like a hundred yards farther. Such a frustrating game. Anybody want to, like, what's 70% of 42 into the wind? Can anybody do some quick math? When, when Buffalo makes the Final Four, they have a good basketball team? Or do you mean Buffalo Bills, like, AFC title? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Vinegar. That's all I wanted to hear. Yep, the one dreaded very fast round killer, you are correct. The one random very fast down, uh, round killer, of course. Why did that go so far right, you guys? Does anybody know? Because my swing's actually left. So. <sighs> this is a fucking dumb game. Does anybody, like, wonder if HP Studios plays the game and wonders the same thing, like wonders why shit happens. <laughs> top 25 all year in b-ball. Nice. I think uh, University of Washington just cracked the top 25. It is inconsistent as fuck. I agree. <laughs> it's 
probably a lot more entertaining to you, I'd imagine, when it's not directed at you. Remember in TGC1 when the wind would affect ships? That was also one of my favorites. trampoline fringes you hit the fringe you have like a really soft green but if you hit the fringe it was like hitting a cart path oh i'm not going to play apex later I, I just meant like my next stream when i stream apex i'll be curious to see how the bit rate helps it look a lot cleaner but i, I won't be playing that tonight that one too many holes yeah tgc one of the windy chips they had the windy chips and then is it tgc2 that had the random spin the the chipping that would like sometimes it would roll and sometimes it would spin and it was a complete roll of the dice and typically it was like if you were in the rough it would usually just like hit and stop but it wasn't always apex 100% Apex. I don't like Fortnite. That was two. Okay. They all kind of blend together sometimes. There's a good swing. Come on. Be close. Be close. There we go. Stop right there. Nice. All right. I have to convert this. This is a must-have here. There we go. There's a bird. Cheers. <laughs> well, I can't do it 14 more times until I do it once, Mr. Vinegar. So we'll see what happens. This is the one where I hit it straight and it went right. And it's a left lie. I mean, this game, I swear to God. There we go. There we go. Damn. Get down. Oh, no. I didn't think I was going to fly that far. Of course. So this is definitely the worst spot on the green. I can tell you that. Need a five wood, yeah, probably. Right now I'm hit five wood. This is a shot putt if it goes in for Eagle. It's tracking. Go in. Go in. Oh. It hit the cup. Hit the cup. But. Still get a birdie. Cheers.
There we go. That's a good shot. Yeah, if the pin was in, you're right, Cappy. I've been jarred. Oh, we have another follower coming in. Who do we have? Who do we have? Drum roll. Ding Ding 89, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for following. Cheers to you. I'm here every Tuesday night playing this game and bitching. Yeah. I've, I've had a few good spots, but I tend to find the bad ones. What, what I usually do is I have a good shot and I have a really bad putt afterwards. Almost as if I get penalized for the good shot. This one isn't quite as bad, but still, this is going to be probably right here. Uh, cool. So remember, my hole number one, my first hole, remember this. That was the exact same putt I had on the hole on the first hole, and it broke on an extra cup. So what did I do on this one? I aim it two cups left. It doesn't break. So thanks, game. Thanks for being consistent. Interesting on the slow. All right, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I know, Ryan. I know. You're not here for my good looks. I know that. 107 into the wind. <sighs> Shit, I'm in between clubs here. We're going to try this. Come on, be good. Nice. Stop. Spin back. Damn. So here's the other thing that pisses me off. The change they made in December. Your fast tempo doesn't make sense on the top of the swing. I paused at the top. I brought my club back and paused the beat. And I came through and I still had fast. How? How is it fast when I pause at the very top? That didn't happen prior to December. So. I, I feel like I have to pause like super long at the top of the swing to get a non-fast. Because that's how golf swings work apparently. Yeah, I, I didn't you notice me pause at the top? Like, I was paused for about a half second at the top of the swing, and I still got a fast downswing. Like, if you pause at all, it should it, it shouldn't be fast. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, Get in. Ah, oh, so close. But I think for me, like, it just depends on when I pause and whether slow or fast hurts me. If it's going to hurt me fast, it'll get me fast. If it's going to be a bad slow, like if I need it to go long and, and it knows that I'll be short. It'll give me a slow. I think the game just picks how it wants to fist me. That's usually how it works. See, like right there, I paused at the top. Perfect. between clubs here again. God damn it. <sighs> yeah. Just 
somehow that ball stayed left. I'm glad the wind did, didn't, didn't, any, didn't do anything on that shot. Nothing. It went dead straight. Or if, if it would have curved, it probably would have been in the GR. But nope. Game can't have nice things in this game, man. I'm telling you. Get in there. Oh. <laughs> That's the perfect putt. I'd hit that 100 times in a row. Every time. Ah, oh, boy. Go in. It's right at it, you guys. Come on, give it to me. Yes, roll in. There it is, hole in one, guys. <laughs> and you know what that means. That is time for a shot. I'll be right back. We are back. Here it is. Hole in one. I'll take the shot right when it goes in. Cheers, you guys. I'm so happy you're here to witness this and be a part of it. Cheers. Ooh. You know, the hole in one shots always taste a little better. Look at this. So good. Thanks, guys. I need like a shot. That's what I should get. I'll get one of these that's like a shot. All right. Back to the action. That's a feel-good story right there. All right. It's a good way to make the turn, huh? Three under. No matter what happens from here on out, it's been a good night, right? How many is that? Hole of ones? I think that's three for me in this game. I just need to shoot seven under and back. Well, we'll start right here. What's up, Matt? It's good to see you. I think I need to make a splash screen of going to get a shot or shot time or something too instead of the be right back one. If that'll be my homework for the week. I actually had everything up here, the shot glass and my alcohol for a while. And I had it up here for like two, three, four, five weeks, something like that. I hadn't used it in a while, so I put it back downstairs. And then, of course, here it is. Yeah, that's a good way to avoid my terrible putting is to just make a hole in one. 
I've been good. I've been good. My dad was in town over the weekend. That was fun to see him. He just left tonight. I actually thought that he was leaving tomorrow morning. I couldn't remember if it was Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, so I thought I might not be able to stream tonight, but uh, his flight left at 6.30, so here I am. Oh, uh, it was uh, it was Captain. Captain Morgan. I like shooting more of the cheaper stuff and all. I'll sip the more expensive stuff. Although Captain's kind of in the middle. Oh, shit. That's my fault. Get up. I didn't realize I was hitting my driver. What's up, Tim? Jameson. Jameson's really good. I... I like Jameson a lot. I don't have any in the house right now, but uh, I definitely enjoy me some Jameson. But I, I wouldn't want to shoot Jameson. I feel like that's a waste. <laughs> I do like to crack jokes over some Crown & Coke. That's 100% correct. <laughs> Classic. Get up there. Yeah, hitting drivers up the deck. Uh, let's see if I can... I'm going to putt this. I have a better chance of making this if I putt it. <sighs> Alright, so 46 feet is what I want to hit. Let's take a look at it. How is this going to roll down here? Go in. Oh, it's close. I have seen my putting. But, I, like, see, here's my thought with putting versus chipping in this game. I, The chipping is so sporadic that my chances of making a putt, even though I'm not putting all that great, are 100% better than chipping it in. So... I'm not saying I, I've never taken shots at Jameson. I just feel like, like Jameson or Crown or as you go up that ladder and you get more expensive, um, I'd rather sip that stuff. Like, I feel like shooting it's a waste. But if all I have is Jameson, uh, I'm cool with that. There's a good drive. But there's also an argument of, well, if I'm going to shoot it, I don't want the crappy aftertaste. So I want something expensive. And that's fair, too. But I would just rather save that stuff for sipping. All right, so this is this is brutal here. I'm going to miss up here somewhere. Fast, by the way. I'm not sure how you don't get a fast on the flop. I don't know if it's possible to not get a flop fast. Oh, no, not at all, Ryan. I'm just explaining my thought process. There's not a wrong answer with that, right? Like, either way, you're getting drunk, and that's amazing. So, yeah, there you go, Wii TV. didn't break at all in case you were counting that did not break at all off the off that first 10 that t first 10 feet where it was like this it didn't break at all unreal my second round this is 
so frustrating. I feel like in this game, the first four or five feet of your putt are so random at times. Like, there's sometimes it hits the blade and it just goes immediately left or immediately right. And most of the time when it happens, I don't know why it happens. All right, so minus nine. All right, 205. This is probably my club. A good swing. Oh no, it's going a little farther left than I wanted it. And it's going really far. Why is it going so far? Oh my god. This fucking game sometimes. I lofted up the 205 club. The 201 club, I lofted up and it went 213. You know what I find with putting sometimes? I feel the putt physics are a bit off. It feels like it shoots off the club head and then slows down ridiculously fast. Agreed 100%. 100% agreed. Yeah, and then what, what I notice is, like in my mind, I see a break, and I'm like, all right, well, I'm hitting this uphill, so this first 10 feet of this 30-foot putt that's uphill, it's going to get past that quicker, so it's not going to break as much. But then when I go to hit it, it comes off my club face like dead left. And it's like, why? I don't understand why it starts dead left. All right, well, let's try to make this. Yep, you're correct, Tim. All right, let's take a look. This is just a pace pot, really. It's going to be left to right off the get-go. Why did that go left? <laughs> Why did that go left? Does anybody know? This isn't even, look at, look at this putt. Why did that go left? Everything there is going right. I mean, look at that. 0% of this putt goes left. Look at this. That ball went down the hill and went left. Somebody explain that to me. Nothing, nothing can be said about the fact that this putt went left. Nothing. Zero. frustrating that's frustrating i mean i'm already bad enough at the game you know like all i ask is some consistency that's it <laughs> yeah you won't hear from him <laughs> 158 into the wind and in between clubs here I'm going to down, down loft this 
Maybe take off some of the sting here with the wind. We'll see what happens. All right, I think I got the distance. Yeah, there we go. Stop right there. Stop, stop, stop. So this is left to right putt, I think. I think it's left to right. So this is a putt that I would think in real life. I would hit it through the break so it wouldn't break as much. But in this game, it'll, it'll literally like corral my ball and pull it right. That's how I feel it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right here and let's see what happens. Go in. Yes. Cheers. That ball actually rolled the way I expected it to. To be honest. Thank you. Uh-oh, I pulled that. Oh, boy. Yeah, I thought so. Damn it. Well, I don't, have, I don't have a bad lie here, at least. Don't have a bad lie. But somehow, I just yanked it dead left. <laughs> Why did that go left? <laughs> Uh, I mean, my ball, the swing could not be straighter. And that ball went dead left. in there we go a little par action yeah it did only only take me 30 holes too late though. Uphill, 132 into the wind. I like this shot here. Throw a little bit of backspin on it. Should be really close, you guys. Nice. Boom. Birdie time. Cheers. Need an eagle here. All right. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, this isn't even reachable anyway. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's do it. Let's hope it gets there. All right. We got a little bit of a kick here. Stop. Well, I had it there. 
I thought that was going to kick left, but it didn't. Of course, the only time I've ever chipped the ball dead straight instead of push it. And it cost me. I shouldn't, I should just know. Yeah. Oh, it's a birdie, though. Cheers. Tim T, is that you at the top there, Pimming's Wool? Is that you at the very top of the leaderboard? Nice four. Uh, that's a good question, man. I don't know. It's close enough to keep playing. I'll, t I'll say that. Two twenty three is my distance. That's not fast game. It just isn't. I'm sorry. And it shouldn't it shouldn't add a hundred yards to it either. Oh boy. Oh my god. Nice, man. Good rounds. Alright. Up 30, 45, 47, 127. This is definitely a shot putt, you guys. For bird. Oh, look at this. Ah, that was such a good putt. Look at that. Yeah, I'm in, man. The last one was fun. Give me an excuse to play this game more and maybe get better. All right, here we go. Hole number 18. There's a good drive. Tim, what happened on your fourth round? Oh, I, I missed that. That's what he said. His tempo screwed up. All right, well, we don't want to be short here, right? Because that, that false front there. Is the rule on TGC for chipping on the green if it flags 100 feet away? Yeah, it's like 100 feet you can chip, or if there's, you know, an obstruction in your way, like if the, if the green curbs in or something. That's all right. I, I'd almost rather make that putt-wise. I mean, that was a pretty close putt. All right, so 152. Wind at my back. Oh, we got another follow coming in. Cheers, Black Cobra, 7609. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Cheers to you, my friend. Well, apparently that was slow. Get up there. Just stay up, please. Right there. Stop. This is a big putt here. I'm going to need this for cut. If I'm even to, to hope to make the cut. It's going to break early. This is going to break early. Get in. Oh. <laughs> of course. Just buy it. Watch me miss it by a stroke, too. <sighs> Such is life. Such is life on the TGC Tours. But that was a pretty good round, I gotta be honest. I mean, I had the hole-in-one, of course, on number nine, which was amazing. So, cheers to that.
Alright, we're gonna move on and play more. Let's do it. Tim T, great round. 59. I don't even know what that even looks like. Yeah, hole in one made up for the tourney. I agree with you 100%. That was awesome. I'm glad you guys were here for it. Those are always fun on stream. Always fun. A five and a nine. Yeah. Uh-oh. No bueno. <laughs> Oh, now I'm just in the middle of no man's land here. This is not good. I'm going to be long. Yeah, slow, slow is what I was trying to get to. All right, we'll be all right. Yeah, <laughs> probably a pretty good estimate. I mean, easily five putts that I should have made that I didn't easily. Why is that so far left? <laughs> like that putt, why did that start so far left? I mean, that, that had no chance off the blade. I think a lot of it is I just I really disagree with a lot of their decisions on how the shot stick affects the ball like for instance I take it straight back and straight through, but because it's just on the left center, I pull it left. Why? Does anybody know why? My club face goes back and it comes through straight. Like, why would I pull that ball 10 yards? Same happened. And that's why I have a problem with the putting. It's not that the putting isn't where it should be. It's just that the way that they measure your swing with your stick, it doesn't match with what happens with your putter at all. And so it basically makes it so it's over penalizing because it doesn't make sense. What's up, G Dog? Yeah, so I guess my, my point is on putting, should it be the same? Should it be the same on putting? So if I, if I swing straight back and straight through, but I, I hit the ball here instead of there, I should pull it? No, I should hit it shorter. Right? Because I'm not on the sweet spot of the club. But my club face is straight. Straight back, straight through. And that's fine if it's not going to do that. But the problem is, is they made the putting overly sensitive. So you end up pulling putts where you shouldn't actually pull those. So you get, it's like you get penalized twice. All right, up five, up six, 167 in the wind. Yeah, that was slow. That was my fault. I came through like an idiot. God damn it.
Uh, what did I get? Minus 11? Minus, I'm probably right around you, I think. I don't even know. I forgot. I don't think I'll make it. I'm, I'm right around the cut, probably. left damn it yeah I probably should be on web yeah the cut minus 20 was pretty pretty insane I don't know. I think what's tough with this game is I, I just feel like it's such an uneven thing nowadays. I feel like the controllers make such a difference and that people don't even know they're basically cheating. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm honest. Like, I feel like some people have controllers that just aren't as sensitive. And maybe cheating is a strong word, but I feel like people have an advantage, and it's pretty obvious. Um, and it's something you can do about it. Just it is what it is. It's just frustrating sometimes. Ooh. No, it's not. Really? What do you mean, no, it's not, Cappy? Get in. Ah. Oh, well, I, I just mean that I, I think that there are just people that play this game on, on the tours that have a less sensitive controller. And whether they know it or they don't, that, like, that's what I mean by the cheating part. They may just unknowingly be playing with a controller they've had for two years or they just bought or whatever. You know, I'm just saying that I feel like there's some unevenness because of that. That's completely uncontroll uncontrollable. It's not the fault of anyone. It's just that the game is so sensitive to these sorts of things that, you know, a controller that you use that is less sensitive can make a difference. Um, I'm not saying people are purposely doing it. I'm in the old farts for sure. Yeah. Young gun, nice. Why why is that so far left? <sighs> Dead straight swing. Ten yards left. No explanation. Need my pudding. Nice.
21 people watching the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight on this fine Tuesday and spending some time with me. Actually, it's almost Wednesday for a few of you here in 10 minutes. It might even be Wednesday for a few others that are in other countries. But thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bring it, Wooey TV. I'll have my moments, man. Just ask, just ask Andre. Go in. Ah. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Whatever. There will be a rematch, I'm sure. The funny part was I had, up to that point, been just playing awful. Like, Eric and I had been teamed up, and Eric was, like, playing really well, and I was just terrible. Yeah, thanks, Wooey TV. I appreciate it. I definitely hope they shake teams up a bit. Like, I liked playing with Eric every week, but I thought it would have been cool to play with different people. So maybe, maybe put that vote in for me. I know it's up to the captains, but it'd be kind of cool if they just throw us in a randomizer and had us play with different people. <laughs> What's up, Dave? My putting does need work. 100%. Yeah, that was a slow swing. Damn it. Ah, I was straight at least. Of course, when I need it to be a fast swing, I get perfect. I get perfect once every three months on a fucking flop shot. And I get it on the one shot I don't need it to happen. That is how my luck is in this game, too. I'm pretty sure I'm the unluckiest guy on tour. I would easily put that myself up against anyone that streams. Ryan G. McConnell, good to see you, man. Thank you so much. It's always good to see you. Cheers. Oh, boy. Tell Curtis I want to face Andre in singles. I'll do it again. That's fine. It was fun. I, had a, I mean, I had a great time. I mean, it was... We played 11 holes. I don't, I, Andre could not have played any worse in the game in, in, our, in our singles match. I mean, I, I played pretty well, but he definitely didn't play well at all. I mean, I, I would imagine he hasn't played that bad in months. So I, I upped all of my settings in OBS today. Uh, how's the stream look? Is it clearer? Is it cleaner? Is it better on the move when it, everything's moving around? Let me know. I don't watch it on your guys' end as much, so I'm just curious. Yeah, it was a dark day. I agree, G-Dog. I almost felt bad.
Um, NVIDIA tweeted out, and so did OBS, if you follow either of them on Twitch or uh, Twitter. Because they updated OBS today to take advantage of the new NVIDIA encoder. So you get the most benefit if you have an RTX card. I do not. I have a GTX. But um, any of the 1060s or above will get benefits for using the, N the NVIDIA encoder, which I already did. But you have to download the newer version of OBS, and you have to change it from just the NVIDIA encoder. And there's a, there's a new one. It just says new next to it. And apparently it runs it better, and it's more it's closer to, to 264x. And then I upped my bit rate, too, from uh, 2,500 to 4,500. So we'll see how that goes. David needs to work on his speech writing. <laughs> What's up, Dan? Good to see you. Go in. Oh, man. I've been burning the edges a lot tonight, too. That was at least a really good putt. And it's running good on my machine. I've been between 80 and 90 frames all night, too. So whatever they did, it worked. Up four, five, one ninety three into the wind. Now we're going to hit this. This should be a good shot. Get down. There we go. Right to left. Downhill. Let's take a look here. Too high. Damn. Ah, bummer. Making the turn at plus one. <laughs> Thanks, wind. <laughs> oh. I mean, why does the wind not work right there? It's 10 mile an hour from left to right, and it went dead straight. Dead straight. God, this fucking game. Let's see if it goes straight again. It probably will. Put it right here. Yeah. <sighs> Frustrating. Go in. Stop. That's a good shot there. I can't believe I got two perfect, two perfect, perfect flops tonight. That's ridiculous. I should go buy a, I should go buy a Powerball ticket. I almost missed that. Was that a birdie? No, it was a par. 
No, see, Dan, there's only win when it when it's not advantageous. When you aim for the win, it's not there. But when you don't, it, it just completely kills it. So it just depends. Fully fist factor, that is correct. Dan coming in with just fire tonight. It's a pretty brutal pin placement here, by the way. Thirty to sixty eight. Why is that so far left? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I said this earlier, but the putters are more sensitive than the drivers. It's so fucking dumb. God. I mean, I know I say this like every other week, but do they play their game? How could you play this game and be happy with yourself? I, I don't understand it. I know they're probably all working on TGC 2020 and acting like it's some sort of secret. But I just don't get how you make changes and then you just leave them in awful states. God. I think people would probably hate me on a development team because I would actually make them fix shit instead of half fix shit. There we go. There's a bird. Get up. Yeah, that should be okay. Nice. Catcherman, man, how you doing? How's the week? All right, we're down four, 165 into the wind. Throw a little bit of down loft on this. Hopefully knock it down a little bit. Ah, I got a slow, just barely though. There we go. Kick it right to left. That'll work. Let's see what I got. Right to left putt, probably. Yeah. Downhill. Go in. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. So close. I was a little worried about that one. Yep. 
pin high. What did you think about Robert Kraft's candle? Yeah, I mean, come on, really? I mean, I think the bigger story is the whole human trafficking thing, which he obviously has nothing to do with. It's just kind of wrong place at the wrong time. I just think it's funny when old rich guys get caught paying young hot chicks to have sex with them. And everybody acts surprised. It's a knucklehead thing, of course. Of course it is. But, I mean, what are they going to do to him? They're going to find him? Like, what does it matter? Yeah. I mean, for all we know, his wife was like, go do it. You know, like, we don't, what do we know? It just looks dumb because he got caught. And then the whole trafficking thing, you know? Like, that's obviously not good. But, I mean, it's not like he was in there trafficking these human, these girls. But, unfortunately, wrong place, wrong time. You get caught, you're like a complete idiot. But the interesting part will be what they do to the, him and the team. So, yeah, the Pat's owner, of course. Yeah, he probably should to save face. Go in. Oh, you son of a bitch. A lot of putts around the cup tonight. <laughs> yeah, it is true. Kraft is the boss. Yeah. It's very, very true, Dan. The crazier thing that happened last week was that actor that faked the hate crime. That is insane, dude. Like... Are you kidding me? This is a good swing right here. Come on, give me a good bounce. It's going to kick way right. Watch. Of course. Now I got an eagle putt here. Yeah, sociopathic douche. Agreed, man. Holy shit. Oh, it's tracking. Ah, just that far. Birdie time. Cheers. All that drink. Two more holes. Yeah, it's gonna be left.
Yeah, no kidding. <sighs> it's it's crazy. I mean, I you can't even make that shit up, man. Yeah, seriously, G Dog. It's. Come on, go in for me. Oh, man. <sighs> All around the cup. All around the cup. Good drive there. Go in. Of course. All right, we're going to tap in there to end round number three. And I think with that, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the stream tonight. So I got three rounds in. I don't think I'm going to be making the cut. But more importantly, round number two, hole number nine, I had a hole in one, and that was pretty fucking awesome. So that was by far the highlight of the night and of course you guys uh, hanging out watching me right now we got uh, 18 in the stream i think we had uh, close to 30 at some point so as always thank you thank you thank you for watching and hanging out and listening to me gripe and bitch and all that stuff uh trust me i'm having more fun than it probably looks but uh man does this game frustrate me but i appreciate you guys hanging out as always uh tim t what's up thanks for stopping by g dog did i clip it earlier i don't think somebody clipped it but uh I might have to go back and take a look. It was round number two, hole number nine. We had a couple new follows as well coming through. So thanks for the newbies. Always appreciate that. Black Cobra 7609, Ding Ding 89, and Bale E. I don't know if it's Bale or Bale E. In Aurora. I probably mispronounced that, but he was working on a course and it had me as background noise. So appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, as always, the usuals, right? Cappy, Golfer Dude, G Dog, Tim T. Thank you so much. Dave was in there too, and everybody else, Catcherman, a lot of the other peeps too. So thank you so much as always, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good rest of your night.